Hello everybody, welcome to another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. My name is Frank Summers. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the auto patch. You can follow along by downloading this scene file I'm about to use from my Gumroad store. It costs two bucks. Your support means a lot. So please click the card that you see right now in the video or check the description for a link. So let's hop into Harmony. So what is the auto patch? Well, it allows us to take two intersecting elements and to create a, not quite a single ele element, but it allows them to share their outline. So I can take this circle here and I can have it intersect the square. And as you can see, they're sharing the same outline. And that is the auto patch at work. If I jump into it, you can see that here's my square and here's my circle and an auto patch is, well first also let's just talk about the technical aspects of what the auto patch is doing. It is taking whatever is living on the color art layer, stripping it out, and allowing us to place it wherever we wish in our node view. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how the art layers work, I suggest you please check that, check my tutorial out by clicking the link in the description below or the card that you see right now. So that said, why don't we just hide this? I have an un, here's, a, here's an un-auto patched version here. The, these guys are not rigged up. So the first thing we do is we're going to grab the fill here. I want to cut it. I'm going to go down to my color art layer and I want to paste it. And then I will grab the auto patch node that is in my filter tab, slide him up. Grab a pipe from the square, connect it into the auto patch, and now place it in front of the circle. Ta da! Just like that. I'll disconnect the auto patch, and as you can see, the auto patch does its magic. So, I want to briefly talk about an additional thing that the auto patch is doing. And not only is it stripping out the color. Uh, it, whatever's on the color art layer, but it's also kind of performing a matte resize. These two elements, this circle and square, are drawn with a pencil line, which means if I was to, let me zoom in so you can see it, like my square, if I hit D, you can see, I hope you can see this on the recording, um, you can see the center line. And our fill, our blue, is going to that center line. So let me take the auto patch out of here for a hot second and let me grab a color override. Plug in that. Go to my color override. Render, select colors, shapes. There's my fill. It's going to only strip out the color now, just the blue. And instead of using our auto patch, we're going to use a color override to do a similar thing. And if I plug that in front of our circle, well, actually, you can see the results right away. The blue is incorrectly being layered on top of our line art. So if I take my circle and put it on top, this is kind of an undesirable result. And again, it's because our fill is going to the center line of the pencil. So let's remove the color override. Let's just get rid of it. Let's insert our auto patch back in there again. And as you can see, the auto patch is performing a pretty smart matte resize so that our outline is correctly being composited. Pretty clever. So what can we do with this? Let's just hide this for now. What can we do practical with this? So the, one of the biggest ones is, let's grab this guy here. We can make, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Uh, the elbow is built with an auto patch so that it's sharing that line right there, creating a nice clean line. The wrist also is built with an auto patch. So if I was to dive into my hand, I just used O by the way, whatever element you have selected in the camera view, if you go over to your node view, just hit O and it finds it. It's a handy little shortcut. So I have an auto patch hooked up to my lower arm. Here's my auto patch and it's being composited on top of the hand, which allows us to have that type of articulation and sharing that line, a nice clean line right there. 
Same thing with the forearm. I have another auto patch hooked up to the upper arm. There's the auto patch stripping out the uh, skin tone and compositing it on top of the forearm. So that's one example of an auto patch. Another one, hide this. Where is he? Let's bring him a little more center. Another one is, zoom in a little bit so you can see. These hair spikes are all created with an auto patch. So it allows us to give a little bit of flexibility in his hair and to maintain, even stretch it, stretch it a little bit, squish it. And it still maintains that outline, which is pretty, pretty handy, if I do say so myself. So I'll dive into that really quickly. Here's the node view for that. And so these nodes are all the hair spikes, oh, except for that last one. And they each have an auto patch, and they're just being plopped on top of everything, on top of everything in the node view so that we can tweak the hair around and if he's falling or I don't know whatever use your imagination he's <laughs> he's scared he saw a ghost he's he's petrified so that will about wrap it up I think for this tutorial on auto patches you will see in front of you a few links there's a subscribe button please click that to keep up with me um, thank you very much for hanging out with me here and I hope you learned something and I will see you soon thank you